Okay. Hello. Today I want to talk about OLS, ordinary least squares, also known as linear regression. This helps us. This helps us to show the relationship between the dependent variable and independent variable. So, so let, let's do an example. So suppose we're looking and we want to see the relationship between the hours students study and how well they do on the exam. Let's graph that. So in this case, our dependent variable is the scores that the students get on the test. Because that, that value, that depends on, on how, how much they study. So our dependent variable is, is on the y-axis, and it is the, I'll call it a score. That's the score they get on the exam. Our independent variable is how much a student studies. But let's say it's in hours. It's on, it's on the x-axis and it's this, this is hours. This is our independent variable. So we want to see the relationship between those two variables. So let's say, let's suppose we get some, we get our some data, we get some observations, we get a, a survey maybe from the, from the students of how much they studied and how that corresponds with their, with a score that they got on the exam. So let's just, because I suppose so one student got this score, another student got this, another student studied this much and got this score, and so on. And I kind of randomly got to put a bunch of dots here. So how's OLS going to going to show us? Going to help us see the relationship between those variables? Well, OLS tends to wants to summarize summarize all this information. And it summarizes it by drawing a line, a line that represents this, this relationship. So we, we, can, we can characterize it by, say, this line. So how, how, so how do we get this line? So let, let me go, first of all, let me say, what does this line say? This line has an intercept, and this line has a slope. So we so we can write it write this line as uh, as y equals the intercept plus the slope okay, beta of the x plus an error term. So this is the equation of this line. In this case, it is the score equals a constant, usually known as alpha. Sometimes people call it beta zero, but it doesn't really matter what it's called plus beta hours plus so, so this is this is what, what the line says. So, so how, how, do, how do we get this line? How, how do we get it? Ordinary least squares, what it's doing, it takes this distance, squares it, adds this distance, this, the, the distance bet between the, the actual value and the predicted value. So it adds all, it takes all those values, it takes, finds all those differences, squares it, and, and, and then sums all of this up, sums all this up. In mathematical notation, it would look like, it would look like this, so it takes, takes the difference between the actual value, yi, and the predicted value. It squares this difference, and then it sums it up, adds them all up, and is the number of observations. So the, the two reasons why this is squared, you might ask, why is it squared? The reason is that you want to have a, a positive value all the time, because if you just add up all the differences. Some, some of those will be positive and some of those will be negative. So this is why you, you want to square everything. The second, probably most important reason this is squared is that it's just easier to do it mathematically. It's easier to find the line that minimizes this than suppose if we had an absolute value here. So I'm, I'm not going to go into the method of, of how we exactly we find this line, but I just want to give you the intuition. How, how, how the OLS does, how the OLS works, how we find this line that minimizes those differences. So that, that's how we get the, the, get the line. That's how we get the regression. Okay, so, so 
So how does it use? The, the intuition of those, of the terms of alpha and the beta. Well, the alpha, alpha tells you what, what the, the value of dependent variable would be if the value of independent variable was zero. Suppose, suppose a student studied zero hours for the exam. So this value would be zero and the, the score would equal to alpha. So let's just plug in a number, make it 20. What does the beta say? The beta tells you by how much the, the value of independent variable changes if the value of dependent variable changes by one unit. So let, let's suppose our beta, the beta is the slope of the line, let's suppose this would be 10. So that would mean as student studies an extra hour for the exam, we expect their score to increase by 10 points, so something like this. So the score of a student who studied for, for, for six hours would be, would be an 80. The score of someone who studied four for seven hours would be 90. So an extra hour of study would, would translate into plus 10 points on the exam. So this is it, and, and, and this is it, this part, so I'm gonna, next part I'm gonna do part two.